Today, I want to talk to you about something that is even better than life, and it's from Colossians chapter 2, verse 13, where we read this. And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, the Apostle Paul wrote powerfully about God's work in his people. He started by describing our condition before God's work in us, and you being dead. Again, that's in Colossians chapter 2, verse 13. This is the place of every person before they are raised with him through faith in the working of God, as Paul described in Colossians chapter 2, verse 12, the previous verse. Before we have new life, we're dead. Before a person comes to new life in Jesus, he's not a sick man who needs a doctor. He's a dead person who needs a savior. How were we dead? In our sins, that is trespasses, and in our unholiness, that is the uncircumcision of your flesh. Before we have new life in Jesus, we are dead in our trespasses. A trespass is a specific kind of sin. It's overstepping a boundary. We are dead because we overstep God's boundaries in our sin and rebellion. Then notice the words. He has made alive. It was the work of Jesus. A dead man can't make himself alive, but God can make us alive. Remember that God specializes in resurrection, in bringing life to the dead. Now, it would be amazing enough that Jesus made us alive, but there's more, but really much more. Perhaps the only thing better than being made alive is to be made alive together with him. We don't only receive life, we receive Jesus himself. After all, what would life be if we didn't have Jesus? Paul described one more remarkable thing God did. It says, having forgiven you all trespasses. The new life with Jesus wouldn't mean much if we still carried our debt of sin. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we're forgiven. In fact, when Paul wrote that we are forgiven, he used an ancient Greek word that comes from the root word for grace. The idea is that our forgiveness is God's gracious gift, not something we earned or deserved ourselves. In describing the new birth, that is made alive there in verse 13, and our cleansing, that is forgiven you all, described again in verse 13, Paul described the two things that go together as features of the new covenant. This was prophesied in both the Old Testament that's in Ezekiel chapter 36, for example, and in the New Testament. That's in John chapter 3, verse 5. You see, God brought you out of death, so leave sin and unholiness behind. God has made you alive, so live out the new life he gave you. God has made you alive with Jesus today. Consciously live in his presence. And God forgave all your trespasses. Live today in the freedom of his forgiveness.